Hey up, Kirby Mercury here. Welcome back to Levine and Isaac Afterbirth. I was kind of playing random last time to make, get my mind straight, but I'll just continue on with random and you know my era policy. No keepers. There we go. No keeper run. It's fine by me or Maggie. Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, the the slow. Nothing too bad about her. I don't really mind the keeper too much, I guess, but I really don't like the fact that you can't take deals with the devil. You can, but It's not really advised unless there's HP around. Regardless, you can't take any double heart deals. And those are the juicy ones. Wouldn't mind a bomb. Little brimstone is really good. Could go check for a bomb in the shop. I think I'll be fine though. I think I'll be fine. Larry Jr. is real asshole. Just kidding, he's not too bad, especially when you have some form of spectral or piercing shots. Incarnated in Lil Brimstone. BFF Lil Brimstone is quite amazing. Speed up would be nice. Ah. I'm really hoping for arcade in there. That didn't go well. I don't know how to pick my own thumbnails for the videos. I know how to do it if I had my own picture to put on there. However, the point of what I was going to say is Hmm. Sorry, I was thinking about going over there. They always end up being the... Where you put... Uh, sorry. Concentrating and trying to say something. That I'm not quite sure how to phrase. They always end up being, um, where I use an item and it pops up really large on the screen. And that's not intentional, it just is kind of turning out that way. Sorry that Meg is a little bit boring to watch. So hopefully I can get overpowered and end it sooner rather than later. Let's go waste some of this HP. Kind of prefer to go into the shop than open that. Really need to start giving money back to my donation machine. Blank card can be a really cool item to have, especially if I found a Yara rune. But I don't feel like blowing up the donation machine, nor do I have any bombs. But I did just get head of the keeper, so that would have 
felt kind of foolish to blow it up. Now I'll probably end up donating some money back. If I can get BFF now, especially with Rotten Baby, things can go very well. My character doesn't have any damage ups. It's just my familiars. I they're probably two of the best familiars well, in the damage department. Rotten Baby does get better in time. I completely forgot I had Krampus's head. I wouldn't mind an Ipecac run. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Probably could have made better use of that. Didn't know what it was until it was too late. a lot of money two cents it's more than more money I've, than I've ever seen in my life as I record this video from a cardboard box probably should have placed that bomb right here because could have blown up the rock and check for a secret room however I don't believe there's a secret room in there I also could have just walked on the spikes, saved my bomb. Oops. I was hoping for bombs. I guess the luck upgrade's okay. There's my bomb. Don't have a key. Is there a key in this tinted rock? No, but there are bombs. Hoping for whoa, get away from me. Yep. Yeah. That troll bomb really knew what it was doing. Mr. Dolly is fine by me. Uh hell to the fucking yeah. I'll take some death touch action. To go along with my three spirit hearts and Mr. Dolly. Whoa. Almost got hit by that red fire. Going to go on a journey to find a key. That was a sad journey. That can't be the secret room. Hmm. Possibly here. I'm not going to waste my last bomb. Even though it might turn out to be awesome. Things are going well. As long as I don't completely screw myself. By making fundamental mistakes like walking into those bullets. There's the key. That's all I re really needed to progress. Some more keys in there. Well, we're definitely gonna go play Blood Bank if that is, in fact, available. One bomb. Not really get me too far into those rocks. I'll blow up this guy. Wealth of Answers, I believe that gives me keys when I pick up money. Goes, goes well with Keeper's Head. There's a key. 
He does not equal bombs. Oh. Free deal with the devil. Normally I would not bother with betrayal. However, just trying to get close to Horror Babylon. Got a lot of money. My damage is pretty decent. It's inevitable. Whoa. How did that possibly hit me? I was standing right here. Will you please come alive so I can kill you? Come on. I would say I'd watch the replay of that, but it's most likely going to be forgotten about as soon as I stop recording. Not going to take Curse of the Tower right now, or maybe ever on this run, so I'm not that fast. My HP isn't too high. That is my own fault, however. Definitely can go fight greed. Tried calling it. Didn't quite work. Gonna fulfill the prophecy of donating money to the donation machine. Cause that's what I like. It is really low. I just realized I gave it more money than I intended to. Oh well. Probably should have checked for a key in case I want to teleport out of boss rush. So I'm assuming I'm going to make it. Keep forgetting about a little brimstone. Speed is definitely fine. Feel like I'm cruising now. I just felt like cruising didn't really wasn't really going anywhere. Just decided to start walking. It's always good to take a nice walk sometimes. Abel doesn't really mean need, uh, mean much to me. It's it's always good when. Those guys are easy for you. You don't have to bother with walking around and shooting the back of their head. Good thing I got that speed. However, that was my fault. I kind of cornered myself. I did not anticipate. Oh, yeah. The way they were going to move properly. And I was going to say that was the first pill I picked up on this run. Turned out to be a bad trip. I'm doing so well. I should really try not to fuck it all up. That room went swimmingly. I think I'll go fight the boss, get a boss item, get a deal with the devil, get Horror Babylon. I guess I don't have to fight Krampus. Got hit. As long as I don't lose all my HP, I should be fine. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Torn photo's fine. That room was pretty easy. Even though it's still going on, I I knew it was going to be easy. Should look for tinted rocks. Should go fight greed. I guess I'm not going to fight greed. Should buy that. 
come back and buy a Spirit Heart when I get the chance. Monstro's Lung. I wonder if it was the last video where I was just saying haven't had Monstro's Lung in a long time. Well, now I have it. Oh! Monstro's Lung and uh, a little brimstone go well together. Almost have. I was gonna say enough to buy restock. I already bought restock. Well, we're gonna definitely gonna buy a few spirit hearts. Maybe even. Uh. Four. I think they're three cents each. No, maybe they're. They might be one for three cents and the rest for five. One. Oh yeah, I have Steam Sale. What am I saying? I have Steam Sale and restock, restock, and I said I was gonna get four Spirit Hearts. For some reason, I thought I didn't have enough money to buy the fourth one. Even though I did. There we go. We're back to a good amount of health. Good amount of keys. Found another key. I've fought the boss already. And I'm going completely the wrong way. And I wonder why I don't get to boss rush. Too often. I knew what I should have done. But uh. Bought a card. Golden bombs is always good. Probably forget I have it. Don't think that's where the secret room is, but I have a lot of bombs. Might as well just drop them wherever I please. Keys are getting a bit ridiculous. Magic Mush is not good for Horror Babylon. However, it's good for everything else, so I will not be complaining about that. I don't know if Magic Mush is better than Horror Babylon. I'm just going to assume that it is. I know that it's a damage multiplier. It does not just add... A damage stat it multiplies your damage stat and seeing as how I have um, death touch I'm assuming my damage is doing pretty good right now monstrous lung makes me happy it's just another one of those cool items Skulls are not really paying out for me. I have enough keys for a couple runs. Let's go fight greed. One time I'll I'll get it. I have restock. Should have thought of that. Oh, go buy. <sighs> okay, buy the card. Get the hangman. Forgot that I was looking for a teleport card. That's what I should invest the rest of my money in. However, the martyr is pretty good. Boss rush wouldn't be the hardest thing right now. Oh, gee. Yeah. I didn't see that piece of garbage enemy there. And then... I kept on walking into him. If my videos ever get popular and I get uh, comments on 
telling me to go get glasses or go get my eyes checked. I may actually do that. Okay, let's get a teleport card here. Font's good. Lovers, death, tower, and I'm out of money. It's probably a better card I can take with me. If I keep dicking around in there, I'm not going to even make it to boss rush, so. Just get a move on. Look for a teleport card. Here, font. It's good. Let's get out of here. See if I can do this this time. Oh yeah, I don't know. Oh, I must have more speed from uh, Magic Mush as well. But I think I did take a, a better route that time. Got to deal with the devil. Definitely take one of those. Definitely get a Horror Babylon State by taking Guppy's uh, Hairball. 99 bombs. That dude. Eh, my bombs aren't that great. I don't need that piece of garbage, man. I don't need the TNT because it's one of the less desirable items in the game. Can be useful, but not right now. I'm sure I missed a couple things. However, everything's going well. Not gonna bother walking into that chest. I'm good on consumables. My damage is a bit ridiculous and as I was formulating and speaking that sentence, I got a damage up. I was wondering where all that money came from. I realized it was just uh, my head of the keeper shots. That thing ate it pretty hard. I honestly would have done boss rush if there was anything worth getting in there, but there really wasn't. Not even like a kind of thing where it was like at all worth getting I guess scapegoat is okay but do I really need it at all I'm not in that desperate of a situation and if I was I wouldn't be too invest invested in doing boss rush Looking for tinted rocks so I can get small rock. Not really too concerned about my health. There's a tinted rock right there. Bob's brain. Don't really need. However, I just remembered I have hangman so I can. I thought there was a golden chest on that room. I guess I was mistaken. And I also guess there's no door to go through in that room. Looking for tinted rocks. I always say that on that room because it's one of the rooms where it takes a little bit longer to see where they are. I just looped around, I guess. I remember that chest. These rooms are looking too familiar. And I'm officially lost. It's got to happen in at least once a run. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is why I don't play. Or this is why I don't record games that you have to kind of 
find out where to go in. Because I would never make progress. It's really hoping for a deal with the devil there. Oh well. Don't really know what I'm looking for. I used to play uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater a lot. I know that sounds really random right now. But I love doing all the tricks and getting super high combos and everything and doing all the mission challenges I really like. And compared to all the people I played with, I was pretty decent. The point of the story is not to brag. <laughs> It's to actually say something. In the missions, there are certain missions where you have to go find, like, oh, go find pieces of a skateboard. So, uh, now I'm trying to remember somebody's name from the game. It's been a long time. So, Jeff Rowley can get his skateboard back together. He needs a wheel and some trucks and. Blah, blah, and they're all over the map. There is no actual mission like that, but... I think there's one where you have to put back together a car. Anyways. The point of the story is... I could never find... All the items. I would just kind of do what I do in this game. Just... Go, um... Find a couple of them, and then circle around and probably just go around and circle and keep on ending ending back where I started from or like where the other items were so yeah if I played that with my friends I'd always be the one to do all the big trick combo things and like trick challenges grind challenges, whatever. But when it came to finding items, it's like... I have no idea. It, I can't even explain it. You just know from watching me play this game how lost I get. It's exactly the same deal. Except for... I think in that game there is actually always a map. Which makes it sound even sadder now. However, I was like 13 years old, so it was probably worse than it is now. It might have been a little bit better. I'm sure I did them by myself too. It just, those are the ones that I found the most difficult, which technically are probably the easiest missions to do. Don't know why I came here. I knew this is is not where the boss was. And even if I play like Zelda or something, it's like I don't mind fighting the bosses and everything, but figuring out where to go and Remembering where I've already been. It's like the biggest challenge in the world for me. I could fight the Hush. I don't know how much HP I have. I do know that I have pretty damn good damage. And 59 keys. Restock. I was gonna say two guppy items, but so much for that. Oh, I don't have my ability to fly because there's a tinted rock. And I played Owlboy recently. It was not too challenging. 
as far as enemy fighting and stuff like that. I could per throw that, but I'll save it for now. The point is, I couldn't. Going through the dungeons, they are really linear, and you don't really have to. I don't know enough about my HP to do what I need to do properly here. I could per throw and look for a guppy item, but I would need two. Don't know if I have enough health. I could fight the hush. So many decisions to make. Eh, I'll just continue on. It's okay. I didn't completely lose track of what I was saying. I don't think. I didn't mind going through the dungeons and stuff, but once you get out of the dungeons go to the overworld I was really afraid that I would not be able to figure out where the hell to go it actually was not that bad but it's mostly because the game is actually really simple oh my god another curse of the blind kind of scares me curse of the you don't know your health I know the boss isn't over here, but it's just the way I'm going. If that was a Joker card, it would have not would have not been good. Can't fly. You know what? I don't need to go in that room. What I'm trying to say is, as far as games involving exploration goes that one was really not that bad because it was really really linear and it was kind of like not too much back tracking unless you wanted to 100% it and I was not that interested in doing that it's just the game was really beautiful, it's just, it wasn't that interesting really. I'm more, oh man, nah, I don't need flight that bad. I'm more into uh, gameplay than story in that game. It's pretty focused on the story. I don't know why any of this is relevant other than me trying to prove the point that I get lost easily in video games. But um, Owlboy was not really designed in a very complex fashion. I think it was more meant to be story based. I don't know what's going to happen when I do this, but I kind of have to. By have to, I mean, oh, hell fucking yeah, that's sweet. It's like, when I shot the sad bombs, I'm like, hey, I have sad bombs. Maybe that'll do something cool. And then I realized, oh, damn, my sad bombs are going to turn into the tears that I once had. You kind of figure, once you have, um, once you have fetus in a jar, your tears are just obliterated from the game. However, oh, I just seen that coming. I just didn't get out of time. However, fetus in a jar. 
sad bombs. It's really, really amazing, and I've never had it before. However, I have take really taken really dumb damage. Especially since I took damage on the... The room just filled with spiders. I think I'm better off on bigger rooms. Ah. Uh, or better off on rooms where I can't... Where there's nothing to cause me damage. I should just go sit... Just stay in this room for... The remainder of my life and I'll be perfectly fine. Sad bombs, Mos monstrous lung, feed us in a jar. That's awesome. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.